Hello, my dear friends and patients. My name is Dr. Vardhaman Gangariya. I am a laser vision correction expert who deals with LASIK, contour lasers, smile lasers, intraocular implants such as ICL and lens exchange procedures with advanced technologies including trifocal eyewears. I am picking from Asian Eye Hospital from Pune, which is one of the pioneering centers of spectacle corrections in India. We have been doing spectacle removal procedures since 1985 and we have so far performed more than a lakh and 10,000 spectacle vision correction procedures in our journey of last 37 years. Hi, my name is Deepika and I'm 35 years old. I've had my glasses since 15 years and um, my number is really, really low. It's uh, on the left, it's minus two and on the right, it's minus 1.5. But I had a lot of difficulty wearing the glasses because uh, I'm a very active person. So going to the gym or going for a walk or going for a run, I just hated wearing my glasses. Basically, I moved to Portugal last year and uh, I was looking for somebody to do the laser surgery for me. And uh, we found out that Asian Eye Hospital in Pune, where my parents live, is uh, one of the best hospitals to get the surgery. So almost 10 months I waited uh, you know, to come back to India to meet my parents. And uh, I had only 12 days in Pune. And I decided to call these guys here and I told them to you know, give me an appointment as soon as possible. So I came for my first appointment here on 16th. Uh, I confirmed with doctor on the same day because after my procedure, uh, doctor told me that I cannot get the smile surgery which I actually wanted to do because my cornea is really thin and uh, I get scarring after any kind of injury so I couldn't do the other surgery as well. So the only surgery that uh, doctor recommended for me was the ICL surgery. So I, I felt really validated when the doctor told me that, you know, I have actually a problem with my eye that I could not wear lenses. For so many years, everybody told me what's wrong with you, you know, everybody wears lenses, what's, why can't you be comfortable with lenses? But now I know that it was actually a problem with my eye, which everybody else kind of dismissed. But uh, the doctor kind of made me feel seen that, you know, there is actually a problem. There could be a problem with somebody who's my age and could have a problem like this, who's not comfortable wearing lenses. So, but on research, we figured out, my husband and I, that this surgery is actually one of the best surgeries I can go for because in future if I at all want to you know change my lens or if my number or my power goes up uh, this can be this is completely reversible and uh, my cornea is not getting affected it's not getting um, there is there is nothing happening to my cornea it's it's just the lens that is going to be inserted into my eye so I was really happy that I got recommended this uh, ICL because I was told that this is not recommended for people who have really really low number because my number is quite low, it's minus 2 and minus 1.5. So I was really, really nervous about uh, the surgery. I mean, I went through some reviews and uh, the reviews are pretty, pretty positive. Well guys, finally time to go for my surgery. I'm getting the EVO ICL. Wish me luck. So the surgery was literally two minutes and the uh, doctor was speaking to me throughout. He was actually telling me what he's doing with, you know, with my eye, what I'm going to experience, how I'm going to feel. And uh, there was not much difference with what he was saying and how I was feeling. And before I could even realize, he told me that, okay, it's done. And I was a little shocked to know that it was already done because I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel any pain at all. There was no discomfort. I was really, really comfortable and uh, within literally two or three minutes, I was out of the OT and the entire process of me going in and out was not longer than five, six minutes. So from the moment I entered uh, the hospital, I was literally taken everywhere by somebody. Somebody was always guiding me. I felt really, really comfortable and uh, I mean, it was as if, you know, I'm just entering this place and somebody else has taken the responsibility of making sure that you know, I feel good that my entire process gets, you know, I, I feel comfortable throughout the process. So I feel really grateful that the staff is really, really polite. They are very efficient. They are very professional. Everybody is always smiling. So I know they all love to work here. And, you know, the vibe is really amazing in this hospital. 
and uh, I would recommend anybody. Actually, I've recommended my entire family to come here. My my dad, my mom, you know, my niece. They all have spectacles, and I have suggested them all to come and meet, uh, you know, doctor. Um, what I also really liked about you know being here was that I was constantly being called by the team, and uh, I was being reminded. Uh, you know, to take my drops, to remove my. So after my surgery, I went out for a coffee, and I got a call from the office. You know, from the hospital, saying that did you remove your, uh, you know, um, the bandaid, and that you should start the drops. And I had actually forgotten, but uh, I got a call, and I, I am, I'm pretty grateful for the call and the people who are working here. And um, my vision was almost 90% back on the first day uh, after my right eye surgery. Uh, on the second day, I went through my second, uh, my left eye surgery, and uh, again, I'm seeing pretty clear. And uh, I can't wait. It's just been actually four days after my surgery, and I'm already seeing very, very clearly. I can't wait for these glasses to come off after seven days and enjoy the experience of, you know, not having my glasses fog up when I drink my coffee or you know drink something warm or chai or something. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that experience and. Uh, I am a fairly active person, so I can't wait to exercise without my glasses, without having you know the lenses poke my eye, which I know now that I was never comfortable wearing lenses because my cornea is really thin. Nine three six zero two five six three eight nine eight zero five six three six two zero nine eight three zero two eight five eight two five six nine. But uh, I, I feel this this surgery has been life changing for me, and for fifteen years I have not experienced the life you know that i actually wanted to experience i'm really looking forward to not wearing my glasses and having to carry my lenses and solution and spectacles in my jackets and everything so i can't wait to enjoy my life without you know these glasses Uh, so we just saw uh, Deepika, who is a 35-year-old uh, wonderful lady. Uh, she has come from Portugal for her spectacle removal procedure. We had seen that her spectacle numbers were moderate to low, which was 1.5 and 2 diopters of myopia in both her eyes. She has been using glasses, has tried contact lenses, was not happy with both of them and she decided to get rid of them. Uh, when we have seen her today, uh, we have seen that along with her spectacle numbers, she has actually thin corneas, so her corneas are only 496 microns in thickness, but more important than only the thickness, her cornea shows a small disorder which is called as keratoconus suspect. So keratoconus is a corneal weakening disorder in which we avoid any kind of laser procedure. Uh, so in this situation, uh, there are certain lasers which can be also used to get rid of glasses, uh, they are called as surface ablations. Uh, because of very low myopia that she has but she was also not a candidate for surface ablation because she is somebody who is called as a uh, keloid former that means that her uh, skin develops scars very very quickly so that was also out of question so the the options that we, are, uh, we have in this situations are called as fakic lenses and the current generation of evo eye seal procedures Evo ICL is one of my most favorite procedure to perform, especially if the patient is not suitable for laser surgeries. In her case, in spite of having low myopia of 1.5 or 2 diopters, uh, we uh, had excellent space inside the eye, what we call as anterior chamber depth. So she was an excellent candidate for Evo ICL procedure, uh, which is a 5 minute penless procedure in which we implant a material which is collamer lens in the eye. It's a five minute procedure in which the recovery is also known to be one of the fastest. Within three days time, patients start their normal life. And uh, this has certain advantages over laser surgeries, such as it does not require thinning of cornea. It does not induce any dry eye. It is reportedly produces much better quality of vision than laser surgeries. And most importantly, it is a potentially reversible procedure that gives you additional safety. So in her case, Deepika had to, has to undergo a EVO ICL procedure because of all these reasons and also all with all these advantages. Thank you.